the challenge of the Yukon. On you huskies! The wonder dog king, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of Yukon. Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog King met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. It was closing time in the small bank at Selkirk. Randy Davis, the cashier, sighed wearily as his last customer, old Luke Cray, pushed a small bag of gold dust toward him. <sighs> last one in again today, eh, Luke? Yeah, I'm getting old, I guess. Can't get around as fast as the rest of them. Well, that dog of yours is getting old, too, ain't he? Well, I wouldn't say so. Tiger's lots of spunk in him yet, haven't you, boy? <laughs> Uh, here's your receipt, Luke. What's wrong with you, son? Don't you feel well? No, I, I've been sick all day. Got a bad headache and feels as if I had a fever. Things keep going black all the time, as if I was going to faint. Yeah, you better get home to your cabin right away. Come on, I'll walk home with you. It's cold in here anyway. No, no, I, I can't go home. Somebody's got to stay here in the bank tonight. We're shipping out a lot of gold tomorrow, and someone's got to be here and watch the place till it's gone. Where's Bill, the other cashier? Couldn't he take your place? Oh, Bill went off hunting yesterday. Oh. He'll be back tomorrow. There have been so many robberies around here lately, we feel it ain't safe to leave the bank unguarded. Oh, if I'd have known I was going to feel this sick, I'd never have let Bill go. Oh, my head. Hey, I tell you what, Randy, a cabin with me. It's good and warm, and I'll give you some supper and put you to bed. Then Tig and I will come over and guard the bed tonight. Oh, gosh, Luke, that sure would be nice of yeah. you. You're about the only man I'd trust to do it, too. Yeah. Hello there, Randy. Hello, Luke. Hi, Hi Jake. Jake. I heard you were in town. How are you? Oh, just fine. I thought I'd drop in and have a look at the bank. Gee, this is your old stomping grounds, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> I worked here a year before I got enough money saved to grub stake me. But it sure paid off. Paid off? Oh, it sure did. I'm going back to the States with enough money to start me up in a good business. No more working in a bank for me from now on. <laughs> I'm going to be president of one. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that, Jake. Oh, what's wrong with you, Randy? You sick? Yeah, he ain't feeling well. I'm going to take him over to my cabin for the night. I'm sorry. You better let me help you take him home. He looks a little weak. Yeah. Here's your pocket, Randy. Uh, thanks. Go on. Uh, here you are, Randy. Now you stay in bed and I'll get some supper ready. Oh, this bed feels good. I, I don't want much to eat, Luke. I don't feel like eating. Better try eating a little, Randy. You'll stay and have a bite with this, won't you, Jake? No, thanks, Luke. I'm leaving Selkirk early in the morning, and I want to see some of the boys before I go. It's over a year since I've been here, you know. You staying at the Northern Hotel? Yeah. I'll uh, tell everybody that you were sober when Luke and I brought you home, Randy. <laughs> I guess some of them thought you'd been drinking. Yeah, he was a little wobbly on his feet. <laughs> oh, a good rest will fix me up, Jake. I'll be all right by morning. I'll be getting along, then. Sorry I'm seeing Bill. Say hello to him for me. Thanks, Jake. So long. <laughs> Goodbye, Jake. Bye. Well, I'll hurry and get your supper now, Randy. And Tig and I'll go over and guard the bank. <laughs> ah, don't you worry, Tig, old boy. I'll feed you, too. <laughs> this stove ain't working too well. If you mind, Tig, it'll warm up a little now, I guess. Uh, seems to me a bank could afford a decent stove. <laughs> Quiet, Ty, quiet. Don't make a move or I'll shoot. I'll get the gold. Who are you? Them bandanas over your faces? Keep quiet. Eh, Ty ignores you. He's wagging his tail. Maybe we better put both of you to sleep. The dog first. No, don't shoot him. Stop, I say. No, my hand. Get away, you cur. I've got the gold. Come on. Get away. 
Yeah, you shouldn't have shot Luke. Came at me. I had to. That dog ripped my wrist open. Yeah, I've got the gold on the sled. I'll never get out of town in this blizzard. You won't have to go far as long as you arrive at the cabin sometime tomorrow. Mush! Come on, mush down! Mush! just going for to get you. Something at the bank. Oh? Luke Craig, he has been shot. Luke Craig shot? Me? I go to bank this morning. That door, she is dead. I come for you. See you here in the street. We'll go there right away. Come on. On King! On, you husky! Blizzard, she keep everyone from God. Oh, it's Luke, all right, and he's dead. And here's the gun that killed him. Oh, that that Luke's dog, Tig. Well, hello, Tig, old fellow. Sure wish you could tell us who did this. Wonder where Randy Davis is. Yesterday I see him walk between Luke and Jake Darcy. They hold him up. Maybe he have little too much to drink. Jake Darcy. Is he in town? We oui. Jake come into store for supply. He make big strike in north. Do you know where he's staying, Pierre? At Northern Hotel. But he say he leave today. Oh, nobody could get out of town in this blizzard. <laughs> oh, poor old fellow. Look. Look, Pierre. Somebody kicked this dog in the face. His lips cut. Maybe when someone tried to kill Luke. Yes, that's what happened. And look here, Pierre. It's a piece of fur from a parka sleeve. We. Oui. Uh, and look. There is blood on it. And a few drops of blood on the floor. Well, Tyke took a nip out of him anyway, didn't you, fella? His dog, he bite when that man shoot. Well, that's what happened, all right. Tyke must have bitten the man in the wrist when he shot Luke and he dropped the gun. That's probably why Tyke wasn't shot, too. Who you think do this, Sergeant? I don't know. But this blizzard kept him from getting very far. Pierre. We. Oui? You better get some of the boys and take care of Luke's body. I'm going to the Northern Hotel to see Jake Darcy, and I'm taking Tig with me. Hello, boys. Hi, Barney. How's the hotel business? Fine, Sergeant. Anything I can do for you? You have a man registered here by the name of Jake Darcy, haven't you? Yeah, Jake's here. Good. You remember him, don't you? He used to be cashier at the bank about a year ago. Is he still here? Yeah. <laughs> he tried to leave this morning early, but the blizzard was too bad. Oh. He's in room 306. Do you happen to know whether he went to bed early last night? Well, I, I didn't see him come in. <laughs> I was here till 12. I... Is that a new dog you got? Oh, no. This is Luke Craig's dog. Why are you taking him with you? You'll know all about it later, Barney. I'll go out and see Jake. Uh, 306, you said, didn't you? That's right. Quiet, Tyke. Oh. Hello, Jake. Why, Sergeant Preston, what... what come in? It's a long time since I've seen you, Jake. Yes. Sit down, won't you? Uh, no, thanks. That's Luke Craig's dog, isn't it? Hello, boy. Yes, it is. Jake, do you know where Randy Davis is? He wasn't at the bank this morning. Why, well, yes, he was sick yesterday, and I helped Luke take him to his cabin. Luke's cabin, I mean. He probably couldn't get to work this morning. He was pretty sick. Would you mind coming over there with me? No, not at all. What's wrong, Sergeant? I'll tell you on the way over. I was planning to leave town today, but this blizzard is too bad. Just a minute, I'll get my park and be right with you. Not much smoke coming out of the chimney. Maybe Randy's too sick to keep the fire going. He acted funny yesterday. Do you... Think we ought to tell him about Luke? Mm, not right away. Let me handle it. Don't say anything. Is that you, Luke? No. Sergeant Preston. Hello, Randy. It's kind of dark in here. Hello, Jake. How you feeling? Uh, not very well. I tried to keep the fire going last night. I'm so weak I can't get out of bed. Drake told me you were sick. I thought we'd better come over and have a look at you. I'll get this fire going. 
Tig, lie down here beside the bed. Why did you bring Tig home? Where's your dog? King's outside. I brought Tig home to feed him. <laughs> Hello, Tig. Ah, uh, he's a nice old dog. Seems to know you. Uh, Tig and I are old friends. I'm over here with Luke quite a bit. Let me feel your pulse, Randy. Have you any fever? I think I did yesterday, but I'm all right now. Let's try the right hand. Uh, sure. Here. There. This cabin will be warm in a few minutes. My pulse all right, sir? Oh, it's fast, but you don't seem very sick. Maybe you'd better go back to your cabin with us. Your partner will be there to take care of you, won't he? Bill? I will if he was able to get back from his hunting trip and his blizzard. But I can stay here. Luke will be back. Luke won't be back, Randy. <laughs> what do you mean? Come on. I'll take you over to your cabin now. Thing Tig and King don't fight. Well, Tig's quite old. Well, here's the cabin. Looks as if Bill got back from his hunting trip. There's his sled. He must have got here just a little while ago. He got a moose. I guess he hasn't had time to take it off his sled. You feeling all right, Randy? I'm a little weak, but I'll get right to bed. What's wrong, Tig? Oh, hello, Bill. Hi, hello, Bill. Bill. Well, uh, where have you been, Randy? The bank. Get the stork away. I'd well, better put Tig out. He doesn't seem to like you, Bill. Oh, he never has liked me. I kicked him once when he was just a pup. No. Well, come on, Tig. Go outside. You just get back, Bill? Yes, I uh, haven't had time to take that moose off my sled. It was a bad blizzard last night. How did you hurt your hand, Bill? Oh, I, uh, I did a butcher in the moose. I uh, see. My knife slipped. Why are you here, anyway? Is this your parker, Bill? You're on this mail? Yeah, I just got in. They found old Luke, Bill. He was murdered last night. I don't think you have to tell Bill about it, Randy. What do you mean? I thought Randy was guilty. But it's you, Bill. This piece of fur the tag tore out of murderer's sleeve matches your parka. You're under arrest, Bill. Where's the gold? Well, I don't know what you're talking you about. You killed I... Luke last night. Tig bit your wrist and tore a piece of fur out of your sleeve. You dropped your gun when Tig attacked you. Here it is. Drop the gun, Sergeant, and put your hands up. You too, Jake. Randy. Put that gun away, Randy. Get him, King! Stop him! Take him away! Take him off of me! Keep Bill covered, Jake. Sure. Back, King! Off him, boy! All right, fella. Get up, Randy. You forgot about my dog, didn't you? I was hoping you'd do just what you did. I wasn't sure you and Bill had worked together. Randy, you fool! Why didn't you use your head? You would have squeal anyway. Our only chance. Tag pointed out the murderer. And I don't have to ask which one of you did it. But where's the gold? Bill and Randy will tell us that, Jake. Oh, uh, Jake, I must apologize to you. I thought you were part of all this. Me? But I well, don't... you see, there were only three people in town who could have opened the bank safe. You, Randy, and Bill. That's why they planned this while you were in town. But there were two things they didn't plan on. One was Tig, and the other one was the blizzard. And Randy forgot about King. Well, come on, boys. We're going back to town. Watch them, King. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Troy. And all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at this same time. Larry McCann speaking. This is the...